Los Amigos, so it's me. And today I just want to show you how to make something my mother used to make all the time that I did enjoy as a child. And it's artichokes. Some of you don't like vegetables and you say, ew, who wants to eat that thing and how do you eat it and what is it? It looks like something you describe yourself with. <laughs> but anyway, it's an artichoke. Now usually when you see these in the store, they have little prickly things on the edges. And what I do to prepare them, I just take scissors. My mom uses a knife, but it's too laborious and time consuming. So to keep things simple, I just took a pair of utility scissors and I go and snip and cut all the little sharp edges. They're cut already, so but you can imagine they're little pointy edges and they're prickly and they're here as well in the uh, artichoke. So I just took them and I clipped them. And then you take this and you put it under running water to rinse out any dirt that may be inside. And you take the, uh, I guess you could say the petals, and you fluff them out to kind of open them up. So you fluff them out, open them up, rinse it, make sure water gets in there so you can clean out all of the dirt. And then I'm going to take you into the kitchen and show you what I'm going to do. Now that I'm in the container, my artichoke. I use a little bit of both. So what I'm going to do is take the petals of the artichoke, open it up a little, especially there at the center, and I'm going to sprinkle some oregano inside. If you have fibroids, you shouldn't be using oregano because it interferes with the production of progesterone. Sprinkle here and there between the leaves. You also shouldn't be using cumin. It does the same thing as well. Bad habits are hard to break. Not to mention my Starbucks habit. That's a no-no as well. But it's hard. I'm addicted and it's in walking distance, man. It's like, oh, Starbucks for me is like comfort food. It's like soul food on Thanksgiving or something. It's just oh, late in the night. When I feel alone. Chokes for a dollar at the grocery store. 
So here's the dip right here. What it is, you take mayonnaise, uh, fresh lemon, or you can use the uh, little bottle concentrated fake lemon juice, although fresh is always better. And you take the mayonnaise, it's up to your discretion how much you make, but you don't really need that much. As you see, I, I made this and I didn't use it all with one artichoke. There was obviously more, so this should be more than enough for that one. What you'll need is mayonnaise, you'll also need green onions, and you also want the lemon juice. And um, I never put salt or pepper in there. So you take your mayonnaise, you chop up your green onions, you can put just the green parts of it, you can also use the white parts of it. If you use the white parts, separate them out so you have little thin ones so you're not getting like big giant chunks of onion when you bite into it. And squeeze your lemon juice, whisk it up, stir it with a fork. Okay, artichoke is done. So, I don't want you to burn your hands and I'm about to burn mine if I don't find something to pick the dish up with. Where's my thing? All right, back on the scene, I've got my two cow. So it will be hot. If you are too hasty and excited, you will burn the stew out of your fingers and be feeling quite good. So you take your artichoke out. We're going to remove the plastic from the container. Now, I don't know if you can see the steam that's coming up off of this or not, but trust me, it is quite hot. What you want to do is take a bowl and because when you eat it, you'll be discarding the petals as you take the leaves off and, um, and eat the meat out. You get a bowl, and underneath your bowl, you may want to put a plate. So get yourself a pair of tongs. If you try to pick the artichoke up with your fingers, you will burn your fingers up. And I'm going to pick it up by the stem, which is at the base. It might be a little tricky to pick it up with the petals. So here we have our cooked fresh artichoke nice and steamy. Oh, check it out. Ta-da! Charger! Okay, so now I'm going to sit the whole little deal on my charger. Get my sauce on the side. Well, it's not all quite fitting. Okay, so maybe you don't put the sauce on the charger. Maybe you're not using the container that big to put your sauce in. So let me show you how to eat it. Now I'm going to pull a leaf right out of the middle. You see this? That's the meat of the artichoke on the leaf. This is the meat right here. So it may not look like anything to you, and no, you don't take a big bite and bite the whole chunk off of that. You wouldn't want to do that. I'm going to dip it in the mayonnaise sauce. Get a little of the onion on there for flavor. And you take it, you put it between your bottom and your top teeth and you pull it out, you're scraping the meat off with your teeth. You see that? I'm gonna scrape the meat off. That's the meat inside the arch the arch. And then you do the same thing with the next leaf. Now if you've cooked it long enough, this meat should be really soft and tender. If it's a little tough, if it's not tender and you're having a hard time pulling it off, that means you probably need to stick it in the microwave for a couple of more minutes because you didn't get cooked well enough. Mm. I like artichokes. My grandma says that women are not supposed to whistle. It's not ladylike. Ha, 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 ha.